heart disease is the number one killer of Americans today. The good news is that it's preventable and can even be reversed. Dr. Stephen Hotze is the founder of the Hotze Health and Wellness Center in Houston. He says there are natural ways that you can think, natural things that you can do to prevent heart disease. Now, this is going to be an interesting conversation today because you're going to dispel a lot of what we have always come to know. Uh, that's, what, that's what I want to do. So everybody hold on. Yeah, tighten yeah, tighten exactly, your seatbelts. Exactly. All right. So beginning with this question. Does cholesterol cause heart disease? Now, the answer to that is no. Cholesterol does not cause heart disease. As a matter of fact, in all the studies that have been done, there's no correlation between the level of cholesterol and the amount of plaque in the heart. Uh, they've done post-mortem studies on patients that died of heart attacks. Mm -hmm. They measure their cholesterol levels, and there's no relationship to the amount of blockage in the arteries to the amount of cholesterol in the arteries. As a matter of fact, over half the people that die of heart attacks have normal cholesterol. Cholesterol is not the problem. It's ca uh, the cause of heart disease is inflammation and the body's response trying to heal the inflammation inside the arteries. Okay, now what we have always come to know is that cholesterol causes plaque to build up in the arteries. Right. So what does cause this plaque to build well, up? Well, if then? you think about the inner lining of the arteries, the mm -hmm. arteries are two and it's lined by a substance called called collagen okay. and which is a which is a protein matrix mm -hmm. when there's inflammation in our body infections mm -hmm. those bugs germs tend to bore into those arteries and they cause inflammation okay. and the body wants to heal that so it doesn't have it doesn't have enough collagen because we tend to be deficient in vitamin C which is essential to make collagen in mm -hmm. our body mm -hmm. collagen is the glue that holds the body together and lines the arteries and so the body then uses something called lipoprotein A as a patch, a backup patch, and it starts to patch like a Band-Aid, these little holes, mm -hmm. and they build up. And that causes it. But it was the underlying cause was the inflammation and the inability of the body right. to make enough collagen, collagen to heal up the arteries. Now, people think, if we ask if everybody in the listening audience, is cholesterol good for you or bad for you, what do you think they'd say? You're going to say it's bad for you. Right, but did you know cholesterol is an absolutely essential uh, molecule made by the human body and essential for life? So we produce cholesterol. This is not something we're ingesting. Right. <laughs> <laughs> We're the, producing you know, it. The vast majority, 90% of the cholesterol in your body is produced by the liver. Mm -hmm. It's the building block for your hormones, for your sex hormones. Estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, DHEA, pregnenolone, all the key hormones, cortisol, from the adrenal gland and from the sex glands, the hormones are, are built from cholesterol. It's the building block. There's a cascade. Cholesterol. This is the first time I'm hearing anything yeah. like this, and, and, and I may not be alone here. Yeah, and which means cholesterol is very essential for good hormonal health. Also, cholesterol is essential for brain function and brain health. Mm -hmm. We have myelin sheaths around our nerves. Myelin is a substance mm -hmm. that covers the nerves. Mm -hmm. Guess what you have to have to make myelin? You have to have cholesterol. cholesterol. Every cell in our body has a lipid ring around it, a fatty ring around it. Guess what that's made of? It's made of cholesterol. We have trillions of cells, so it enables, if we have the proper amount of cholesterol in the cells, then we're able to transport nutrients and chemicals and messages from between our cells. And so what we, what we find is that people, interestingly enough, over the age of 50 degrees that have elevated cholesterol, Guess what? They have a they have a lower incidence of mortality than people that have low cholesterol. As a matter of fact, if your cholesterol gets too low, which happens when people take statin drugs, mm -hmm. it oftentimes increases the risk of death, not from heart disease, but from cancer of the liver or brain tumors or suicides or a whole host of problems that occur from low cholesterol. So low wow. cholesterol can be dangerous to you, and that's why the statin drugs that people use oftentimes cause a host of side effects. I would imagine then there's a connection between menopause and cholesterol levels. Well, there is. As your hormone levels decline, mm -hmm. your body has a feedback mechanism. It tells, the brain tells the liver, we've got to make more cholesterol because we don't have enough hormones. Right. We've got to build some more hormones. So, so if you can so, level off the hormones... That's right. If we can get the, the hormones mm -hmm. up, if we, if we can replenish the hormones, mm -hmm. then the cholesterol goes down. And we find this with our patients. As, wow. we re as, we, as we replenish the female hormones using biologically identical hormones, not the counterfeits, that the cholesterol level goes down. Also, also mm -hmm. another cause of heart disease, or at least a, uh, well, let's call it a cause of heart disease, would be low thyroid. We know people that have low thyroid have a dramatic increase of coronary artery disease. Why is that? Mm -hmm. Because people with low thyroid tend to have inflammation and infection which leads to this whole buildup of the blocking of the arteries. Mm -hmm. So so armor thyroid 
and the biologically identical hormones can dramatically decrease your cholesterol and keep you healthy and decrease the incidence of heart disease. This should not be done without the use of vitamin C. Vitamin C is important mm -hmm. and exercise is important and a good healthy eating program is important. Wow. All right. You're probably saying the same thing, right? <laughs> Thank you so much Thanks for so being much. here with us. Thanks for Are you being here next week? I'll be here next week. Right. We'll talk about it next week. Okay. Sounds good. We'll okay. do that. If you have any questions about the Hotsey Health and Wellness Center, log on to HotseyHWC.com or call 877-698-8698. Now, we want to toss it over to our not-so-perfect parent, Paige McCoy-Smith.